up, y'all? Just Zay here, back in another pickup. And today, 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 we have a special, special unboxing. I know I say special all the time, but this particular pair of unboxing is super duper special. So special that I want to recommend these shoes before I even tell you what they are. So, what I need you guys to do is, if you're on a computer, open up a new tab, keep this video running. But if you're on your phone, pause this video, open up the app, go to adidas.com and buy these shoes now. Because I promise you, once these sell out, it's gonna be stuck. So today's shoes we're unboxing is a pair of the Adidas Web Boost. And I got my pair for $50 retail. Um, there's still a few pairs that's right around $60 ship and a few right at like $96. But and then there's also a few still at retail. Um, I love my pairs so much, I only doubled up. So $50 for two pairs, so put one on ice, mark one down. So hey, let's get into it. And then when you bring the shoes out, you're able to notice that this colorway will grab eyes. This is a very, um, I think, bold colorway. Um, it's not the boldest out of all the ones that they come out with, but this is pretty bold. And I enjoy it. You know, I love this. Uh, they call this a bliss blue. I love this bliss blue right here. Uh, bliss blue right here, as well as on the insole. And even on the um, laces, you see a fade from the carbon black to a bliss blue. I love that. Um, unfortunately, the um, this pink does not have a name, or at least they didn't give it a name. So we're just going to call it a neon pink. Um, I like all the accents on this. It really brings out the whole shoe. Yeah. Um, now, this particular material right here is fairly new. This is called the 3D Stretch Web, and I don't know if this is the same material that they use for the the Boost the 350s but I feel like it's very similar so I think this may be the same rubber because the concept is very much the same on the Yeezy 350s um, you have the Boost inside that's encapsulated and on the outside you have the rubber that's soft well it's firm rubber so you can still see and feel the Boost if you flip the shoe over and it's very similar with this shoe so I want to say it's possibly the same material now they don't give this a name so that this is not continental um, this is just the 350 boost rubber uh, i'm sorry this is just the um the 3d stretch web rubber um, i think that if you were a runner you could probably get a year's worth of running with these um, as i said before i doubled up on these and this is one month of wear and tear now, I haven't been running on concrete, so keep that in mind. But for $50, even for $64, if you brought a pair just to run in and you put another pair just for casually walking, you're still putting yourself under with the retail of $160. So definitely, definitely, definitely worth getting you a pair if you can. Or maybe getting two pairs if, you know, if you're able to do that. All right, so, oh man, these shoes right here, man, I'm smiling behind camera. I can't believe I stole these for $50, and not just these, stole two pairs, so. Um, so, of course, you guys, while I was telling you about the branding of this, this is the 360 Web Stretch. You see this on the inner part of the shoe, 360 Web Stretch, and this is throughout the whole shoe, even towards the bottom of the shoe. So, and what's occasioned beneath that, of course, is the Ultra Boost right here. Um, now you do get Adidas branding right here in the back. You get a pull tab. Now I will say this about the pull tab. This is just probably one of the only downsides to this shoe is like once your foot is in and you try to pull it up, your finger barely goes in. Well, mine does. Um, you could probably put your pinky in there, but I don't know too many people that pull a shoe up with their pinky. I mean, I'm strong, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not risking it discomfort on my pinky to pull that up but that's like the only downside that's the only downside to me um, now you get the boost as I was telling you ultra boost right here in the midsole um, you got texture upper you have a, a lace down I will say this this is closed and fixed right here so you're not gonna really need your laces in these so if you wanted to come up with a cool, super duper different way of lacing these, this would be the shoe to do that because 
they aren't very functional simply because that this is fixed right here so no matter how loose or tight you get these it's not gonna make a big difference now of course if you guys want to run in these you can um, this material is like a soft rubber right here um, of course this is recycled so 50% of the upper has been recycled content um, great great shoe overall man I, I really love I really love these like I, I don't know how to describe these any other way definitely get these if you can I really wish they gave this pink a name because this accent is throughout the whole shoe it just doesn't have a name I don't know why a um, little bit of reflectiveness right here three stripes now the sole is uh, just a regular sole So, see how easy it is to slip these bad boys on. So, that's that. Boom. The belts on these, boy. So worth it. <laughs> That's grandma. Great grandma. <laughs> <laughs> 